we have already seen the demo of our project e-commerce website using php and mysql we have seen everything whatever we are going to do in category 1 we have seen the entire demo now in this we are going to see the prerequisites required for this particular project okay if you are a complete beginner no problem as i already told you you can give your own designs if you are aware of css if you don't know how to give that one i will be using complete bootstrap here and i will be telling you each and every concept here i am not going to skip any of the part so you can follow along with this one if you know basics of that prerequisites then you can get started with that one if you are a complete beginner and if you don't know anything about that then also no problem because we are going to do completely from the scratch okay now let's understand some of the prerequisites required for this project okay first we need xamp control panel as we all know php is a server side scripting language so to run php we need one local server so we are going to install xamp control panel and inside that we are going to start apache and mysql apache will be acting as a local server for php and mysql is the database itself in this entire project we are going to use mysql database then you should be having one code editor you can use any code editor in this project i am going to use visual studio code okay and also i will be telling you the installation process of xamp control panel and vs code editor okay there are plenty of code editors whichever you are using or whichever you are comfortable you can use that one visual studio code sublime editor we are having atom bracket okay node plus plus based on your requirement you can choose any one of the code editor then you should be having little understanding basics of html if you don't know then also no problem we are just going to use basic tags and basic elements in this then bootstrap you are going to use if you are not aware of bootstrap no problem basically bootstrap is a css framework we are going to use some of the classes in bootstrap we will be using forms tables whatever tables we are going to display whatever forms we are going to display we are going to use bootstrap classes and we are going to display that one okay we are just going to use basic concepts not the advanced concepts in bootstrap then we are going to use basics of javascript if you are not aware of javascript if you don't know how to use javascript then no problem because we are just going to see how to use script tag how to alert the messages only two to three concepts of javascript we are going to use if you don't know how to use javascript then also no problem because we are just going to use two to three concepts in this project then we will be using mysql database when we install xamp control panel we will be having this php my admin and inside that we are going to have mysql database and inside this dashboard we are going to create our databases we will be creating our tables we will be creating a complete structure of database inside this mysql database okay when it comes to mysql database you should be having understanding of sql as well okay structured query language using this queries itself we are going to access the data from the database and that data we are going to display then finally we should be having understanding of php if you are not aware no problem see we are going to see php as we i will be teaching you completely as a beginner level you don't have to worry if you have zero knowledge on this only thing is you have to invest your time you have to follow this tutorial you have to practice by yourself you have to start typing by yourself unless and until you don't start typing by yourself you don't start coding by yourself then you will not understand any of the project if you keep on looking for source code and if you are not practicing by yourself then you will not understand any of the concept in any project so you should keep on practicing you should keep on getting errors if you don't get errors it simply means that you are just copying the code okay you should get errors you should explore that errors there are plenty of websites like we are having stack overflow we are having github from there you can find plenty of solutions you can explore the errors and you can solve the errors if you solve the errors then you will be having clear understanding of the concept where you have gone wrong everything you are going to understand by yourself and you don't have to ask for anybody else so just keep on exploring and keep on practicing let's get started into this project and let's understand how to install xamp control panel and then we are going to see how to install vs code editor and we are going to do basic setup for our project after doing basic setup then we'll start writing the code 